Indians have been voting today in the third and biggest phase of the country's more than month-long general elections. Voters are electing a new parliament and prime minister. Narendra Modi from the ruling Hindu nationalist BJP is seeking a second term. His main challenger is leader of the opposition Congress party, Rahul Gandhi. The election is the world's biggest, with 900 million voters in total eligible to vote. They have to elect 543 representatives to the lower house of parliament, called the Lok Sabha. One of the issues that has been set to stage in these elections is the issue of unemployment. The ruling BJP is accused of suppressing a government report that claims unemployment is at a 45-year high. This even as the economy expands. It's a strange paradox that's affecting millions of India's youth. DW correspondent Nimisha Jaiswal travelled to the state of Jharkhand in the country's east to find out more. Birendra Patel scored the highest grades in his undergraduate degree in sociology. He received a gold medal from the President of India for excelling in his postgraduate studies. He went on to get a third degree, which allows him to become a teacher. He's one of the most qualified young men in his small village of Tuktuko in the eastern state of Jharkhand. Yet, Birendra has been unemployed for two years. It's difficult to sit at home after studying so much. In the village, too, I hear jibes that despite my qualifications, I'm useless. There's no work in the village. The government is paying no attention to this. There's no advantage in earning a degree. It's a piece of paper lying at home. And Birendra isn't alone. Other graduate students like him are applying for every job opening that comes up, however overqualified they may be. But, they say, there are no vacancies. Seasonal farming is the main source of livelihood in the region. Employment opportunities are few and far between. Locals here tell us that as a result, many young men migrate to big Indian cities like Delhi and Mumbai, and some even go abroad to countries like the UAE, Afghanistan and Malaysia. But Jharkhand isn't the only place where young people are in trouble. Every year, millions join the workforce in India. According to unreleased government data, unemployment is at a 45-year high. Critics say that while the governing BJP's rhetoric has focused on nationalism in this election, it has been silent on job creation. A coalition of youth groups called the Young India Rights Committee has come together expressly to campaign against the Modi government. They say they will support any candidates who stand against the BJP and its policies on education and employment. Several member groups are left-leaning. This meeting is in support of a candidate from the CPIML, a communist party. The last five years have been very, very horrible for the youth of India. There has been a very dangerous structural shift. Uh, you know, during Modi regime, when it comes to the youth and the students of the country. The youth is the future of the country and they are not only fighting for themselves, they are also fighting for India where, you know, right to education, right to employment, right to health are rights of the citizen. Young locals attending the meeting are just as angry. The government needs to ensure that young people are provided with secure jobs so they don't have to struggle to earn their livelihoods. I've been looking for a government job for three or four years, but no luck yet. Being an educationist and being an education student, I am also very upset from the government system because the government has launched the system, but they have no any pre-plan how to I mean, say, provide the, this system to the door-to-door, -to, -door to the rural areas student. Even as night sets in, the crowd listens on with rapt attention. The message here is clear. A vote against Modi is a vote for their future.